one franchise that began in 2010 and the other ended in 2010 i do know about red dead revolver but red dead redemption 1 was the game that made this series what it is today right after rda 1 and fallout new vegas release gamers wanted to know about their respective sequels so for the next 5 years we waited and waited until november 10th 2015 when we got our hands on fallout 4 While the game wasn't all it was supposed to be and disappointed us at that, it's still a really good game. But when a game has such high expectations, it's near impossible to live up to our standards. Well, most games can't anyway. RDR2 was hyped up to the moon and back, but somehow the game turned out to be even better than it was promised to be. These two games are open world first person slash third person games with an engaging game world. I'm not trying to find out which game is objectively better. That's real simple. But which game is more fun? I think Fallout 4 has a real shot in that department. One of the things I really like about Fallout 4 is the game world. Exploring the map was the most enjoyable part of the game, at least for me. It even managed to give me the Skyrim feel, where you really don't know what or who you will encounter in the next corner. While the game doesn't have side quests on par with other amazing RPGs, it does have some real fun ones. The wasteland is a beautiful place in a dark post-apocalyptic way. While the graphics aren't the best even for its time, I found Boston to be stunning. So running around the map never felt like a chore. Red Dead Redemption 2 has one of the most romanticized setting in films, books and games, the Wild West, and it's wild to say the least. RDR 2 is arguably the best looking game ever made. So wandering around the map with no intent or purpose is also very enjoyable. But don't think the game is all style and no substance. The amount of interesting or hilarious random events and side missions is something. For me, all great open world games should surprise you even years later. I truly feel gamers will unravel the many wonderful things the game has going on for years to come. So if you're watching this 5 or 10 years later, do make sure to comment if you find that true or not. While Fallout 4 has a good variety of areas, RDR 2 has tenfold the amount of diversity, whether it be in locations or something else. Gameplay wise Fallout 4 does a good job. Your gameplay could feel a little basic, but that's not always a problem. Bats or the Vault Tech assisted targeting system is a prime example. It makes gameplay a little too easy, but it's cool and a whole lot of fun. Combat could have been a little more refined considering the release period. 2015 had The Witcher 3 and Metal Gear Solid 5. When you compare them to Fallout, it starts looking like a lagging sibling. But if you enjoy the formulaic Fallout gameplay mechanics, I expect you to have a great time. RDR 2's gameplay can feel a little too easy and a little too slow at times, but depending on the person, this might be a great thing. But every single detail is given attention, and there aren't any fundamental problems with gameplay. Combat is fluid yet powerful. Even small things are done great. Picking up loot, for example. The game without a doubt has the best horse riding that I can remember. No hiccups and bumps. Horses are responsive, which is a simple thing yet so many games mess it up. Mini games were wonderful. I spent so many hours playing poker that I kind of get it. Fist fighting was real and gritty. I had absolutely no problems with melee and combat in general is pretty flawless. Which is the better game? RDR2 for sure. Which is the more fun game? That's a tricky one. While Arya 2 is near perfect, it's a cinematic experience. Sometimes you don't want to watch Inception; you'd rather watch a rom-com. That's exactly how I feel about Fallout 4—a messy game yet a whole lot of fun. Well, we have come to an end. Subscribe to the channel for more similar content. Thanks for watching and have a great day.